Hey guys, today you're going to get two sheets of white paper off of the front table. You're going to see that one of the white sheets of paper is just a little bit bigger than the other. That's the one that you need to put your name on the back of. Mr. Calvert, and you are my two, and whatever class you're in, it's A, B, or C. You're going to flip it over. Then you're going to take that smaller sheet of white paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in half again. So I get four rectangles when I unfold this. Now I can cut on those folds. All right, so I cut out my four rectangles. Now I'm going to place them onto that white sheet of paper that was just slightly bigger. You can probably leave just a little bit of space around them. I would lay them out first just to make sure. It actually looks like they're going to go this direction. You should be able to fit all four on there. So I would lay them out first just like this. All right. Now I can glue them down. Remember, it just takes a few dots of glue, not a whole lot. All the way around the edge. And a couple in the center. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your name on the back of that big sheet of white paper. Fold the smaller sheet of white paper in half and then half again so that way you get four rectangles. Cut them apart and glue them down. If you have time you can begin to add textures to this today. I have a whole poster of in the back room that has textures on it. What you can do is you can get one of those smaller sheets of white paper up in the front and you can cut this apart to create textures. Right? Every rectangle needs to have its own texture on it. So maybe I want to do some rolled up tubes. So I might cut out a few rectangles. Like this. And I might want to roll them around a pencil. And add a line of glue so that it holds. And you're probably going to have to hold this for just a little bit. You do not need to do the same textures that I do. There's a whole poster, all right? Also, when I go to glue these textures down, I want to think about something called composition. And composition is kind of how you lay out your artwork. Rather than just gluing them all over the place willy-nilly, you should be thoughtful about how this is going to look. Alright, so there, I have one square done. You're not going to finish today. We probably won't even finish next class. That's fine too. Take your time. Be very thoughtful about how you add textures. So today, you're folding and cutting out all these rectangles and gluing them down. If you have time, you can begin to add texture. Check the back poster for some ideas if you're not sure what to do. Clean up when you're finished.